Many people start their day with different things on their mind, like what to wear, check their social media, work, and how much money they can make. Not putting God first and suddenly, in a moment, they will die and the people will be troubled at midnight and pass away and the mighty will be taken away without a hand. This is why you need the midnight prayer. Hello friend, may the Spirit of God bless your life. Right there where you are, receive light. Receive your freedom. By the way, I rebuke right now all the negative thoughts. If you had a bad day, if you have been going through any kind of a problem, be sure of that, that God, he will strengthen you and he will help you. Now it's midnight and three minutes. We are going to have now this moment of prayer. But before, I want to show you now the testimony of this person. This person that was a victim of a curse. But today, through the power of God, this person is totally free. Take a look and I'll be back with you in a few. Hi, my name is April. Before coming to the Universal Church, I had a lot of sleepless nights. And I used to be addicted to alcohol. And I used to party a lot. And before that, I had like sleepless nights. People, like something crawling up on me, like coming to have into sex with me and when I get up in the mornings I used to see like marks on my skin and I don't know what was the problem but I know like something was there and I used to see like shadows in the night when I get up as it dark and I used to be afraid and so I used to tell my mom that how I have sleepless nights I used to get up and I used to see like marks and thing on my on my skin and thing and I used to tell her and she said that oh well she wanted to know what it was about, whoever, because at that night we get up and we see like a light on the outside, and she was like, "It has something there." And I say, "Well, when I read on the um, on Google, I see like it has something called sukunia." Yeah, and then after I say, "Well, that must be the sukunia, whoever come in the night," and because I say get up, I see red marks, and then I see scrapes on my legs and thing and then she, I read more about it and I see that you know this kid has come in the night like you know to come and I came down in town at time to shop and stuff and I end up passing and one of the pastors from Port of Spain stopped me and said miss come and then I said come for us and I say I go in and shop and come back and then after I never went back but and I, on my way going up there I see I stop and then I voice them I go back and I went back. When I went back, that was at a climb of this time, and I was feeling heavy, it was hurting. And I went there, and when I went up there, I sat down in the back. That same day, it was a Friday for deliverance. So I ended up going up, and then they say, oh, who feeling any sad, anything come up? And I was like, me come up, and my heart started a bit faster. And I said, no, I should go. And I went up, when I went up, that was it. Uh, Pastor pray for me. I didn't know what happened, but when I opened back up my eyes, that was it. I feel light. I feel like something just left me. Today, I am no longer have any sleepless nights, and the strong prayer of deliverance on a Friday in the UCKJ, it works because I did my chain of prayer, and I came for in search of help, and I used my faith, and the chain of prayer work. Through the chain of prayer and using my faith, it it works. Today I have peace because before I was not at peace. Before I was sad, before I was down, before I was not, you know, happy. But now I have peace inside of For those who are watching my testimony, I will encourage each and everyone to come to do the chain of prayer and do a chain of prayer on a Friday for deliverance and you will see the results. What God he did for this person, he also he can do for you. Perhaps you have been trying so many ways to fix your life, to change your life. You are that person that you believe in God. Maybe you go to church. You read your Bible every single day. However, you give one step forward and it turn backward. Somebody have done evil to destroy your life. 
That's why I would like to invite you to be together with us this coming Friday. Friday, you are going to have the opportunity to receive deliverance prayer and be cleansed, be free from whatever evil, from whatever curse that have been working against you. In the opportunity, you are going to bring a, a bar of soap. Yes, soap to bathe. You are going to bring it because we are going to consecrate. We are going to pray. The word of God says in the book of Malachi that God he is like a refiner fire. And when, my friend, you bathe, when you take this uh, spiritual bath that we are going to give and also the, the, the soap that we are going to be consecrate, the refiner fire, the fire of God, will set you free from whatever curse, okay? Here in our national headquarters, number 40, Salt Care, we are going to be together in different times. At 6 o'clock in the morning, also 10, 12, 3, and most especially at 5 p.m. The last one, it's going to be at half past 6. In all these times, we are going to be here determining your freedom, okay? I already have my bottle of water. If you have yours, please, please hold it in your hands because now is the moment of prayer. Our Lord and our Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, God of the Bible, which is written, Lord, that you are like a refined fire. And all in your fire, my Lord, to burn whatever sickness, whatever infection, whatever disease that this person has. All in your fire to destroy this curse that is in the love life of this person. She cannot be happy, Lord, with nobody. Whenever she is in a relationship after three months, that relationship didn't work at all. This person that have a curse in the business. This person have been investing a lot of money. However, Lord, this person cannot see any improvement. This person cannot see, my Lord, nothing happened to her. Nothing happened. Nothing good taking place in that business. But Friday, Lord, when this person come to this church and they receive this strong prayer, this person will be totally free. I also pray on behalf of this person's house, family. Bring peace, Lord. Bring protection. Protect this person against all kinds of evil. Lord, I pray that you may consecrate and bless this person's water with your power. Let this water to be a holy medication. I pray on behalf of Trinidad and Tobago, our Prime Minister, and all the other ministers. Give it to them strength, Lord. Give it to them wisdom, knowledge. Show to them what to do in order for us to have a better Trinidad and Tobago. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And whoever believes says, Amen. Amen, friend. You may drink now from your water and be blessed. Very well. I have no doubt that you are blessed and also you are going to have a wonderful night, okay? Get yourself ready for Friday. May the spirit of the living God bless you. Have yourself a wonderful night. Take care. I know I'm cursed. I've been to several witch doctors hoping to be free, but my life only gets worse. What if I told you that you can be cleansed from envy, witchcraft, diseases, or any other problems that you're facing? Yes, it's possible. The presence of God can wash away all evil from your life. For it is written, Who can stand when He appears? For He will be like a refiner's fire or a launderer's soap. Bring a new bar of soap to be consecrated this Friday to a universal church near you. Just as soap is able to cleanse, God will purify you from all evil.